John Ulrich from Shiny Box Audio, and we're here at the uh, what 129th AES convention. Um, and uh, probably just go over my product line real quick for you. Um, essentially, I started the company making a line of ribbon microphones. So based on you know, selling these microphones for a number of years, uh, feedback from customers, uh, they uh, were asking for a mic pre that uh, was high gain uh, for the, the ribbon mics. So I started with the design of, a, of an, an API 500 series mic pre. It's a transformerless design, uh, 72 dB of gain. Um, features a, a high Z switch, which changes the uh, input loading of the mic pre between 1.4 and 8K, which is good for ribbon mics, also for uh, passive dynamic mics. Um, it has a 10 segment uh, meter in it, which uh, supports, you can see it is in demo mode right now, but supports several different metering modes. Uh, you press and hold a button, goes into program mode. So meter one is uh, just normal metering. You have over metering where the red light at the top will blink if you go over, uh, plus 18. Uh, peak hold, which will hold your last peak point. Peak hold plus over, and then the last mode, which is demo mode. So once you go to the mode you want, you press and hold again, and it'll go back to its normal operation. Um, the next product, also a 500 series format, is called the Guillotine, which is a high-pass, low-pass filter. Uh, has 32 fixed frequencies per band. So for the low pass, essentially, you would start at 450 hertz. You have a push button bypass for each band. Uh, so you start at 450 hertz as you roll up to 2.8K. Once you go over the top, the times 10 light comes on. So your 450 hertz is now 4.5K, all the way up through 28K. Similar on the high pass, just starting at 15, rolling up all the way to 1.4K. So the bands completely cross, so if you were to, to enable both of them and roll them across, you'd end up with essentially nothing. It's a fixed uh, 12 dB per octave uh, filter, with uh, uses a discrete op amp for the filter stage. Uh, there is a hardwire bypass for the module also, so you can easily check your source with the, the module completely out of circuit or just bypass one band or the other. Um, the other product I have is uh, the SI4, which is essentially the SI500 series, only four channels in one rack space. Um, it's uh, the only thing different between the two is essentially I had to lose uh, two of the LEDs in the metering just for space consideration. But the, the mic pre, uh, essentially you have uh, fixed 6 dB clicks in terms of gain, and then a 10 dB output trim. So the, the idea for me was in primarily in like live recording applications. Um, when you're sound checking, you know, you tend to go in broad strokes. It's like, okay, it's either way too loud or way too quiet. So 6 dB clicks is funny, but once you're actually recording, um, the trim comes in handy as, you know, you're, you may be slightly over, so you may want to trim down, but you don't want to click because that, you, know, you end up with a nice click in your recording. Um, pricing for the electronics side, uh, 500 series uh, SI is $500, $500 for the guillotine, and the four channel SI4 is priced at $1,400. These are available direct for me. I also have, uh, there's a dealer's page on the website. Um, I, uh, the electronic stuff is sold through uh, Mercenary Audio and Zen Pro Audio, um, and then I have a number of international dealers as well.